Hi everyone, Lexi here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to um, edit the UV map of a uh, an object. Today obviously it's going to be a uh, single bed. I want to take all the uh, all the beddings and put them on single beddings. But as you can see here, all the EA beds are UV mapped completely differently, and I don't really know why. So, some beds are going to be easy to do this to, and some beds are going to be hard. Now, I could go in and change every single DDS file, um, and apply it to a template so that, you know, that could fix it, or I could do this, and honestly, I think this takes less time. So first, let's make sure that our, um, we have our object selected, go to edit mode, hit A for all, this pulls up our UV map. I'm going to open up the image that's on the bed right now, actually, open image. This is this one? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. Um, and as you can see, it's all stretched out and weird. So, what we're going to do is... I've already done this a lot, so I kind of already know what parts are what. So I'm going to hit B. This is the, um, the sheet. G. S for scale. Oh, wait, actually. G. S. And then Y. That'll scale it to the Y axis only. Um... Yeah. G and then Y to move it up. And then, yeah, you're just going to keep doing that. Uh, G, X, Y. Okay, and as you can see, I've already kind of moved some stuff around and I want to see how it looks on my bed, so I'm going to hit A for... A for all. Uh, yeah, and I move the sheet around, and that's exactly the, actually exactly the texture I want. So now I'm going to do the pillow. Uh, you can do a couple things. If you didn't know where everything was on this map, you could hit B and box it in. Um, I'm going to use your net. Yeah, and as you can see, it's like way down here. So I'm going to hit A for all again. Yeah, this is the pillow. So to deselect that with your cursor in this window, hit A for all. B for box. Grab your pillow. Everything right. Yeah, G for grab, move it around. And as you can see, you can actually see it kind of move over here, which is nice. Um, again, G, S, Y. G, Y. I mean, you don't have to do, you could just hit G and like move it around if you wanted to. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to go through all the pieces of this UV map, and I'm going to fix it all. Okay, so I finished that. I went through. Um, I like the result a lot. The shadows aren't too hard down here. If I wanted to fix that, of course, I could come over here and hit A again. A again. In edit mode. A. And I could come in here, and yeah, you can see it's it's still kind of uh, into the blackness there. So G, S, Y... Move it up just a little bit. Love it. GY again. Outstanding. Okay, I like it. Uh, file, save as. Where am I? I'm in my... Let's do desktop. UV fix pad. Save as wonder file. Okay, and I'm going to go into some source studio, and as you can see, this is all messed up. So import, uh, so my desktop. And there you go. Doesn't that look better? And then of course you want to make sure that you do that to all the um, LODs. That's it guys, a really short tutorial on how to edit a UV map on an object. It's actually really, really super easy. So if you ever notice that you're applying a texture and things kind of look wrong and you want to change it around, that's what you would do. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.